So I was watching the original Jurassic Park that was released in 1993 and I thought to myself, man how did we go from that to where we are today where almost every blockbuster sucks. I will try to discuss this problem in this video and as usual it is not going to be a long one so let's do this. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Busy Man Reviews. Jurassic Park was released in 1993 and is directed by Steven Spielberg and was based on a novel by the same name written by Michael Christian. This movie had an original plot, something that we rarely hear nowadays where every movie seems to be a sequel, prequel or remake or worse a part of a movie franchise and this idea of a movie franchise is one of the biggest problems with the movie industry nowadays as company boards and executives play a major role in developing movies which in turn change the job of movie makers from simply satisfying the fans to satisfying corporate agendas. It is almost as if they give each creator a checklist with requirements such as representation where you must have the same sex couple, a black guy and an Asian. Also, you are required to have a bad white guy and of course the strong female lead. Then you can weave whatever random story around this exact political agenda, preferably an origin story or a sequel or a superhero movie. The result would be a disaster like the new Star Wars trilogy where we saw Ryan Johnson assassinating the character of Luke Skywalker just to focus on Rey who he did not even bother to develop in any way because god forbid a strong female lead should need any reason to be strong other than women awesome, men bad. All this was done to please Disney and Kathleen Kennedy, not the fans and of course it led to the dumpster fire known as The Rise of Skywalker by J.J. Abrams who doubled down on making Rey the most powerful Jedi that ever was just because. Imagine taking a beloved movie like Star Wars and instead of giving the fans what they want and maybe expand the fan base some more, they divided the fandom and we find ourselves fighting on whether the force is female or should Poe and Finn fall in love. But worse still, that both Ryan and JJ broke every rule in the Star Wars universe just for cheap thrills and twists. Anyway, my point is that politics poisons everything and movies are no different and the diversity game is a slippery slope because where does it end? Do you know how diverse humans are? And what about all the letters in the alphabet community? My point is you cannot satisfy all people all the time and you will always have a keyboard warrior shaming you on Twitter for not having the culture or whatever. That plague expanded to TV as well, especially Netflix who seemed to focus on woke politics rather than the actual quality of their content. And of course, they must shoehorn a same sex love scene in any show even if it adds nothing to the plot. And it usually doesn't because I like to believe that most people agree that a person shouldn't be defined with what they do behind closed doors. Or worse, meaning a nudity coda in each episode like HBO's Game of Thrones which quite honestly felt juvenile and was a warning sign on the mental capacity of Dan and Dave. The producers of course went on and completely butchered the story giving us the worst series finale ever. Now don't get me wrong I have nothing against having a lead character who is gay. For example one of my favorite movies was The Imitation Game where Benedict Cumberbatch plays the character of Alan Turing who played a major role in cracking the code of the infamous German Enigma machine which in turn helped the Allies win the Second World War. Although the movie was mainly about that powerful story, it also showed that Alan Turing suffered a great deal of injustice for just being gay, where his heroic actions were overlooked and he was prosecuted and sentenced to chemical castration, which led to his tragic demise. Now imagine this movie being produced by Netflix, it'll be the other way around with the Enigma machine and World War II stuff taking the backseat to focus on the raunchy love adventures of Mr. Alan Turing. Still, we get some good TV series or a movie every now and then, like Chernobyl for example or Tokyo Trial where both stand out as powerful historical dramas with fantastic cast, story and direction or a longer fictional series like Breaking Bad and BBC's Sherlock. All are great shows that you should check out if you haven't yet. Hopefully studios will wake up one day and give back creative freedom to movie makers and we will go back to the good times of making movies for the fans instead of executives and having 
have one agenda in mind, that is to make a good movie or a TV show, nothing more, nothing less. What are your thoughts on the movie industry nowadays? Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video and want to watch further busy man reviews, give us a like and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another video and another busy man review. Until next time.